Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 107. That is, what is the difference between sanity testing and retesting? Let me answer. So what is the difference between sanity testing and retesting? First, I'll start with the retesting. Retesting is nothing but testing the defects that are stated as fixed by developers, okay? If the developers are saying that they have fixed the defects, okay, they have fixed the defects as software testers, we have to confirm by checking whether these defects that are stated as fixed by developers are really fixed by them or not, okay? For example, guys, there is an application. For example, there is an application. I'll break this application into multiple functionalities. Here, I'm breaking this single application into multiple functionalities. Few examples of the functionalities are login functionality, logout functionality, forgot password, search functionality, and so on. Okay, each and every block is a functionality, let's assume. So here, let's say while testing this, all the functionalities of the application, maybe in one of the functionality, let's say forgot password functionality, you got a defect, okay? The software testers have found the defect and they have reported the defect. Once the software testers have reported this particular defect, what the developers will do? Developers have to fix these defects, okay? Fix these defects. Whatever the defects that are reported by software testers, the developers have to fix them, okay? So now developers are saying that whatever the defect you have reported as part of the forgot password functionality, we have fixed it. Now developers are saying that we have fixed this particular defect. Now what the software testers have to do? Software testers have to do retesting. Okay, software testers have to do retesting where software testers have to verify whether this defects which are stated as fixed by developers are really fixed by them or not. We have to check that process is called as that testing is called as retesting. Testing whether the defects that are stated as fixed by developers are really fixed or not is known as retesting. So as part of re retesting, if the defects stated as fixed by developers are fixed, then we'll close the defects, okay? The result will be will close the defects. As software testers, as part of retesting, will close the defects. If the defects that are stated as fixed by developers are really fixed by them. If they are confirmed as fixed, then testers will close the defect. If they are not, not fixed, then the defects will be still open and reassigned back to the developers, okay? The defects will be reassigned back to the developers for fixing, okay? If the defects are partially fixed or not at all fixed, so they will not be closed. Rather, they will be reassigned back to the developers for fixing them, okay? So this is what is retesting. Now come to the next one, that is sanity testing. So what is sanity testing? Sanity testing is a subset of regression testing, guys, okay? Uh, here, it is a subset of regression testing. How do you perform sanity testing is? You will test the functionalities and related functionalities which got affected due to the code changes, okay? So here, for example, guys, uh, while, while the developers are fixing this particular defect related to forgot password functionality, okay, as part of fixing this defect, Developers have to do the code changes, right? Without changing the code, can they fix the defect? No, right? The code changes will be done. So for which functionality the developers have done the code changes? For forgot password functionality, the code changes are done. So when the code changes are done in this forgot password functionality in order to fix this particular defect, what happens is we are not sure whether, okay, because the code is modified, right? In this forgot password functionality area, the code is modified. The code is modified means this defect may be fixed, but this functionality may become unstable. Okay, when the code is touched means the developer has changed the code means that reported defect may be fixed by developer. As part of retesting, we can confirm whether the defect status is fixed is really fixed or not, that's okay. So after we confirm that the fix, defect fixing, fixing is done properly and we have closed the defect also, still there is a confusion or kind of dilemma for us uh, whether this forgot password functionality, which used to work earlier, apart from this defect, everything was intact. This forgot password functionality, we are not sure whether this forgot pass password functionality entirely is good or not, okay? Because it may get affected. It may get affected because of the defect fix. Because of this code change, this functionality may get affected. So what is the alternative? What we have to do? What as software testers we have to do? Apart from retesting this particular defect and confirming that the defect is really fixed or not, after that, after retesting is done, we have to perform Sanity testing on this forgot password functionality. We have to perform sanity testing. That is in-depth testing will perform. In-depth regression testing, okay? It's only on the forgot password functionality we are going to test, guys, okay? In-depth, all the test cases related to the forgot password, password functionality from start to end will test as part of sanity testing. Not only this forgot password functionality, there may be some situation where there will be some 
related functionalities for this forgot password functionality for example what will be the related functionalities for the forgot password functionality login functionality may be related so we have to perform in depth testing on the login functionality also because it is a related because of this code chain the login functionality may get affected and also we have to test logout functionality here okay logout functionality also may get affected logout functionality may get affected register account functionality all the login logout register okay this kind of functionalities uh, will get affected so here testing the functionalities and its related functionalities in depth because of the code changes in that functionalities is known as sanity testing it is a subset of regression testing here you are not performing the entire regression testing you are not testing the other unrelated functionalities you are not testing in sanity testing it is a subset of regression testing in regression testing you have to test all the unrelated functionality also whether any side effects are introduced in uh, unrelated or unrelated everything you have to test as part of regression testing but in sanity testing you have to uh, perform regression testing only in the areas which uh, only in the areas that is the code changed functionality and its related functionality we have to test in depth that's why i am calling that sanity testing is not regression testing it is a subset of regression testing sanity testing is not regression testing okay sanity testing is a subset of regression testing where you will test the functionalities and related functionalities that got affected due to the code changes okay the immediate functionalities or the actual functionality where code changes happen will be tested to see if they are intact even after this code changes happen code changes may happen because of different reasons guys okay here in this example i mentioned that the code change has been because of the effect fixing but all not always the code code changes will happen in this particular forgot for functional forgot password functionality because of the fixing that effect some cases the developers may update the code in this functionality okay they may modify the code they may improvise the code whatever it is okay they may improvise the functionality for that they will do code changes in one of the functionality and because of that the functionality and its related functionality may get affected and testing this functionality is whether they are intact after this code changes are done on this functionality is known as sanity testing so hope guys you got an answer for this question now that is what is the difference between sanity testing and retesting so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye